getting the plastic off, and we're cleaning up the greenhouse area. <laughs> All right, food foresters, this is our greenhouse area. Um, we check the weather. We don't see any freezes for the next 30 days, so we are going to go ahead and take a chance. We're cleaning up this area. We're gonna take down weeds. We're gonna cut open the black tarps, get everything cleaned up, straightened up, put some things in pots, plant some things. But right now we are working on this greenhouse area plastic that we put up in haste and we were never able to fully finish because of uh, it either being so cold all of a sudden or Donald had some health issues. Um, we took out the papaya, the really good papaya that we loved um the fro uh the freezing got to it and here it is here we're just going to let it decompose right here with our uh newly planted bananas um it's not going to come back so we're going to have to replant um right now what are you doing honey i am finishing off the roof of the greenhouse so we can cut all the sides down cool We'll cut the plastic, and I am in the process of picking up all the bricks <laughs> that we had to put down real quick. So, and be a little quick update. If it'll focus, there we go. Low quads are coming along just fine. So. Hey, stupid! We're not going to get a lot of them, but we'll get a few. Yeah, this is first. This is the first year it blooming, so next year it'll probably really take off. But you can tell we probably should maybe take some branches down on the inside once it's done fruiting, give it some more space to spread out. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let it air out. Let it dry up a little bit before we uh, fold it up because it's really mo really got a lot of moisture on it. Yeah. But there's the greenhouse. We're going to leave this one side on because we're going to start building walls. So that'll be perfect for that. And then here she is. Once again, another year. It has worked. It's great. The sour sap here is growing new growth. And all of the mango trees have come back in full force. So uh, we're very happy. Hopefully this year we'll get uh, maybe yeah, some mangoes. Yeah, we had very little cold damage at all to them. Yeah, we were I, lucky. This year I want to get some metal 55-gallon drums. Mm -hmm. Paint them black and fill them up with water with a little bit of bleach mm -hmm. or chlorine and put it in between i want three of them in here and i'm hoping that during the day the greenhouse will heat up enough to heat that water up to give us a heat mass to put out the heat for the rest of the night so that we do not have to have a heater in here yeah but this yeah. what do you call it um this year we haven't we only ran that heater what about 10 Four. times not even that less than 10 probably so. five or six actually it, it, that, that that was better than last year last year we were uh we ran it more than that yeah we just had some extra cold nights this year yeah that arctic blast that affected everybody not as much as us because we're in florida <laughs> right. all right so now we're going to go through, we got to finish cleaning up the bricks. We found some more bricks that were tangled up, but we're going to get some of this, uh, the plastic over here. We're going to get that in the shed. We're going to get the heater back in the shed and then we're going to go through and, uh, get this clean. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at those, uh, 
that's the dragon one, fruit. That's the one I traded my friend for. I gave her some passion fruit for those dragon fruits. Oh, so it's you not. thought they were the ones I started from seedling? <laughs> you got excited. I was just like, oh my goodness, look what happened. That's funny. But yeah, we got to go through all these little pots and we're going to empty out the dirt. Um, well, actually, I have a whole bunch. Uh, where are they at? We should have some cassava, maybe? Oh, yeah, there's the dragon fruit. These dragon fruit seedlings, I want to put in a bunch of those pots. Yep, and I think we ought to stick some around um, some more of those trees. Yeah. The oak trees. Let's just get a bunch growing up the oak trees, so... All right, well, we got our work cut out for us today, so let's get a move on. This is our outside brooder. I open it up for the morning because we're in the 80s now. And we got our meat birds out here. Everybody's doing good. So I have to uh, check their food and water, make sure they're ready to go for today. They are feathering out nicely. All right, and then we have what? Uh, lids open up. Woo, you guys are dirty. But as you can tell, they're feathering out. Yeah, time to change out their hay. They've had it for two days and it's pretty gnarly in here. So, all right. And they've gone from cute little chickens to ugly chickens now. So we will see. Well, you guys are all frisky now all of a sudden. Yeah, they got monstrous feet. All right. Let's get you guys breakfast and uh, get you some clean water, maybe some clean hay. When you have chickens and you park your car sideways, so that way you can empty out the groceries. The chickens were underneath my car most of the day and they just tore up the driveway. <laughs> and my poor moringa tree they decided to do dust baths in my moringa tree. Silly things, look at that. That's one of our mulberry trees. And then, we gotta clean this area up. I think this is gonna be our next project for next weekend. But over here, I'm just in awe of this. Here is the, we I think it's the Pakistani. It is just loaded. Or no, this one's not loaded. Well, it does have a few. Hold on. <laughs> oh, here's our brown turkey fig. And that's coming back nicely. Over here, we still have to get to this area. Here it is. This is another mulberry. Not sure which one's which, but. Look at that. I even have some down here. And then up underneath. I am so excited about the mulberries. Alrighty, everybody. We have been busy little beavers this weekend. Um, we didn't do a lot of the filming because we really wanted to focus on getting a lot of stuff done because we are actually in a position where we are getting things honed in for our little homestead and we're actually really excited about this. As you know, there's our raised beds out of used material. The mailbox has been filled. Uh, Donald calls it his... Uh, weed lasagna. <laughs> so on the bottom was a bunch of weeds from the garden area, which you guys are going to be really impressed when you see that. We put some more duck dirt in the middle. This is lemongrass, and then we're going to put more duck dirt on top of that. 
and then we're going to be planting radishes and um some who what's the other one i cannot think of it i'll let you know but it's going to be radishes and what is the other one i can't think of it sugar snaps okay so this is all taken care of we got the uh, plastic aired out and dried. As you could tell, it killed a lot of the weeds, so we don't have to worry about mowing up here just yet. We got all of our buckets. The five gallon buckets we're gonna be using to grow our peppers in. Right now it's just holding the little pots because I have a bunch of seeds to start. The blue ones are gonna be holding um, some of, I think, carrots and something else I'm not like I said, I'll, we'll actually do a video. I'll probably do a video or a picture at the end of this to show. Got the tires pulled up. Then over here, we cleaned up the garden area. We just have to mow in here. And then we're gonna lay down more black uh, landscape plastic or just so that we, we can suppress the weeds. We're gonna cut the tires off and make this a mound probably next couple of weeks here um, just so that way these trees roots can really spread out and grow since they're really good and established now and then we'll take these tires and use them for something else here's pretty much a lot of our cuttings that we've been saving we're going to plant a lot of these some of these are going to go to our community um garden that um our friend here um her name is beth she's does the sustainable living which we've been participating in um we meet monthly but we're putting in a food forest slash garden area at our local local community center to teach people what to grow how to grow so it's something that we can actually um help other people in our area know what they can and can't do and how to do it and then donald hi honey you've been busy yeah doing lemongrass yeah we're cutting down the lemongrass uh, we're going to replant in other areas we're just trying to move uh get more space in here because all behind here we're going to be putting bananas our tall bananas to give us more shade and are you gonna uh we need like maybe one pot for the community yeah, garden well, okay just to let that. you know it's not a big deal yeah i got plenty yeah well, i know and we still got another one to cut down now here's the exciting part <laughs> tickled pink we got um we found some cassava that was growing out from the rooted part so we were able to transplant it here we got this area cleaned out. This is where our papaya was. And then over here, we took out the onion and the, uh, we didn't have any garlic that uh, showed up, but the onions, um, they had been in there since I think, how long, were, how long ago? It was like over six months, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, but we need this bed for the peanuts. And then we're gonna be mowing that back area. We're gonna be planting bananas and um, uh, cranberry hibiscus. And then in the front of that, we're gonna plant all the wildflowers. So that way we can bring in the pollinators. We tore up this bed, opened it up. As you guys remember, about two years ago when we did this, we covered it, it was mulch. It was just a big, row mulch and look how wonderful that soil is uh, we did the same thing with the strawberries we got the weeds taken care of um, they are producing beds two or three and four we did the same thing and then over here we have some more of our better strawberries uh, we really enjoy these that are in here they're sweeter so we cleaned it out and we are going to um let them go and when they start producing runners again we're going to transplant those are the same as over there so eventually this side will be overtaking this way and then as every time we get more and more runners we're going to just start replacing them because these strawberries are just 
they're not as sweet as what these are so um we evaluated the strawberry tree this was our beautiful strawberry tree we have to move it um it is growing as you can see there's one there i think there's another one somewhere else yeah here it is on the side here so it is coming back but all of this above it was pretty much dead so we literally chopped it all the way down um in the next um probably by next weekend we're going to go ahead and transplant it to another location that's going to be better because we're using this more and more as a walkway and the tree when it grows it was just hanging over the walkway so it became a problem um well that and when we first planted it, it we weren't established like we were either so this wasn't a garden area. yeah this was not a garden area this was a a leftover chicken run area because we, we had chickens up here first then we moved them over there now they're over there <laughs> but as you can tell we had the lemongrass here gorgeous big nice big thing um it, we had a, a duplicate one here so that's what donald dug up recently we're going to go ahead and dig this one up and then we're going to be putting moringa all the way down this line here and in front of the moringa i'm going to go ahead and put sunflowers um just so that way we can bring in the pollinators and uh we just got a few things to clean up and take care of and that's about it huh honey yep. so that's what we've been going doing all weekend so we wanted to show you guys that lemongrass just smells wonderful yes, it does. too bad tv or the video doesn't have a smell of vision on tvs <laughs> people be sniffing their tvs all day long with this lemongrass <laughs> oh, I love it. do we need any for the fridge no no okay we, got, we still got plenty still got plenty even with all the stir fry we got we do mm -hmm. <laughs> we just get so much lemongrass well i also put it in with like if i'm doing a crock pot like uh mm. like with the uh we like chickens yeah we use it in teas so it's it's a lot all righty so That's pretty much all we're doing right now. Okay, this is one of my moringa trees. It is on the corner of the house and we need to move it. I am a little worried that the, fro or the frost really got to it when we had some really cold, cold nights, three nights in a row. So, because we have to move it anyways, I'm gonna dig it up and I'm gonna show you guys the tap root because this is a, um, pretty well established moringa tree and the tap roots are super long and like I said we got to move it Donald has um, the lemongrass pulled up so I have a hole already dug and I'm gonna plant it where over there if it's uh, still viable okay uh, Donald had to help me pull it out but the tap root did break. <sighs> you put it in the hole for me. But there it is there. Started growing sideways instead of down. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it in this hole here. I'm gonna fill it in. And then uh, we're gonna cut it down because it is still green near the bottom. So I'm gonna cut off this top half and then let's see if it will uh, bounce back for us. Okay, so here is our mock-up. <laughs> we have so many raised beds now, which we are enjoying, and we have future raised beds coming. But today we're going to focus on the swing set and the blue barrel raised beds one through five. So I wrote it all down and the trellis too. So we're going to be planting the butterfly pea on the trellis we are going to be planting all herbs in boxes one through five 
and then the swing set the back tires we're going to plant the uh, long beans and then in the front we're going to put the chocolate baby bells all right and donald has been dying to plant and so here we are are you happy yes so we are planting the asian yard long green beans and we're going to plant a little bit in each tire around the poles Two per hole. Well, we got more. How many do we have left? We got plenty of. We got a bunch of them. Okay. So here's the next one. These guys are really heavy producers. Mm -hmm. Nice Koopa. Where are you going, Koop? He is such a happy dog now. He's got an area to run. <laughs> you notice? Mm -hmm. What you doing, Koop Koop? Hi, Koopa. Are you happy? Are you a happy puppy? What you doing? Hi, Coop Coop. What you doing? Hi. Yeah, you're a happy puppy, aren't you? Are we going to plant them all? Yeah. Okay. Why not? All right. So, tire number three. I will leave Donald to it. There's Luna. What you doing, Luna? Up oh, there, Koopa. Luna! Come here. Come here. Oh, gonna play? You guys gonna play? Okay, so now we are going to do the chocolate baby bell. You got a kink? Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> we gotta get a new nozzle for that thing. And as you guys can tell, the top layer is the top soil that we bought. And then the soil underneath is um, from last year's stuff. So it's uh, kind of a mixture of what? Duck dirt and regular dirt and. Yeah. So. We used some of this stuff in it last year too. Yeah. Or just as a. Uh, to keep it in. To keep up. Uh, yeah, give them. Yeah, it's. More organic matter. More organic matter, yeah. Plus, too, a lot of times when you plant straight into this sandy clay stuff, when you water it, it really gets kind of heavy and sometimes the seeds have a hard time getting out. All right, honey, you want to do the chocolate baby bell pepper? And we can throw this away. This is um, the Asian yard long beans is something that we, um, we save the seeds every year. Um, there should be 15. So I don't know if you want to put like five in each tire. All right, now, just to give you guys some info on this, the chocolate baby bells are in the same family as your green peppers, your red peppers, your yellow peppers, uh, pepper bells um, that you use for cooking, you know, like for stuffed peppers. 
um, and things like that. Well, Donald doesn't really, is it, you don't really like the taste of those? I do, but not as well as, you know, I like, I'm more into the hot ones. He likes the hot ones, that, that tire. I know, I got, I got, there's way more than 15. Oh, really? Oh, yay! Okay. Well, anyways, the, the green, the red, and the yellow bell peppers give me heartburn. I get really bad heartburn. I can only eat a little bit of them. Um, but these chocolate baby bell peppers are in the same family. And they are sweeter. And they have a milder taste. Or a more like a, well, I would say what, like a dull taste to them? It's not as strong. They're not strong. So we're kind of excited about growing these, and hopefully then I can eat some peppers and I Donald. Can cook with the yeah. Peppers, but Amy can't handle them. Yeah, I just get real bad heartburn with them, and I that's why Donald stays. He doesn't really cook with them. Um, but we're hoping with these being sweeter, and maybe with them because they're going to be little. Um, Donald can cook with them and we can actually get something where I can eat it and not hopefully get heartburn. <laughs> All right, so let me put the trash up here. The next thing we're going to do is the trellis. And these are my own saved, the blue butterfly pea flowers. These are a viney flowers. Here you go, honey, since he's having so much fun. I'd say plant as much as you want because last year, Luna, that little thing right there, kept eating my butterfly pea vines. So last year, I did not get any to grow. So I could not save the flowers, so I could not drink my drink. Um, it's something that both me and Donald really enjoy. And I'm putting multiple in per hole. That's fine. We're not sure of the germination rate of the ones that we see. Yeah. Well, I know they're over a year old, so the germination rate will be down. That's why just plant as many as you want in there. I have plenty. Um, so the more the merrier. But with these... Uh, with this butterfly pea, this is the one that um, you can uh, take the water, dye the water blue. You can drink it as a hot or cold tea. You can use the colored water for making blue rice or blue noodles, blue bread if you want to. <laughs> um, and then also too, if you add a little bit of lemon to the water purple. it turns it purple so there you got now you got purple red and hot tea you can have purple rice purple noodles purple bread <laughs> so it's a really cool science experiment that you could do with your kids grow your own food coloring um, I really enjoy it mixed with the uh, red sorrel tea yeah nor yeah we normally mix them with the red sorrel I like it also because the butterfly pea is a good antioxidant. Um, it also is a good anti-inflammatory. So it's one of those where, you know, it does have the health benefits. And us being from Central Florida, you know, we normally drink a lot of uh, tea. Well, this is a great substitute for us. So we're not drinking the sweet tea. We can actually just have the red soil or the blue butterfly tea over ice and some stevia so but yep that's what we're going to be growing on the trellis here I'm excited about this one because I could actually see this trellis from my kitchen window so I'm excited about this all right so here's our first raised bed and what are we doing we're going to do spearmint and then the other side, we're going to do the toothache, toothache plant. And then, oh, 
doing? Holy cow. Yeah, those are tiny. You want to just sprinkle, sprinkle on top and then we'll just stir it in. Wow, these are really tiny. Hey, hey, stop. Don't abuse the dirt. <laughs> I'd say sprinkle around the edges, maybe. Um, holy cow, those seeds are tiny. Wait, let me see those seeds. Look how tiny those seeds are, guys. <laughs> Sounds like the neighbors are out. All right. There we go. Spearmint is in. We already have regular mint. Oh, did you miss one? <laughs> Here, let me go. All right, toothache. How many is in that one? Uh, 50 seeds. Okay, I don't think we need to plant all 50. No. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark, honey. We gotta hurry up. Are those also tiny too? Let me They're see. They're pretty small. Let's put it on this. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe we should do the same thing. Let's just sprinkle and see what pops up. We can always thin them out. You know, that's yeah. always an option. Yeah, we're losing light. It's almost like sprinkling salt. <laughs> All right, half and half. What you doing, Luna? She needs a haircut. All right, so which one are we doing next? Are you gonna water? Oh, I thought we would water it all at once. Yeah, gotta water. Nice. Bring, yeah, just hook it to the side here. All right, so which one do you want to do first? Let's do the basil. Basil. So this is, which type of basil? Genovese. 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 We're trying a new brand, a new basil type. Coop, Coop. Where's Cooper? There he comes. There he comes. Get that exercise in, boy. All right. So how uh, how small are these seeds? Really freaking small. Again. <laughs> Tiny little seeds turn into big plants. Let's see. Gee whiz. They are tiny. There's three or seeds. Oh, there's one in there. Hold on. Get it out? Okay, I got it out. Holy cow. Oops. <laughs> and then pick up the trash. No, no, no. Let's do it all at once. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I know. You're excited. That's why I'm letting you do this. Because <laughs> I know you are way excited. You want my herbs. I know. Our herb garden kind of took a crap last year. We didn't keep up with it. And then we lost a lot of stuff because it was over, it was a hundred, over a hundred, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was, last, last year was pretty bad. Oh, look, Mrs. Turkey's perching. Or not Mrs. Blondie. All right, so which one's this? This is rosemary. All right, let's see the seeds. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because we're growing excess this year because we want to be able to store them, harvest them. Huh, honey? Yeah. I'm going to be able to not have to worry about falling behind again, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to come around? This one is time. So let's see this one. That means we're gonna have to start watering every day now. Yeah. What, Cooper? He's a barking at car. He's a car chaser. <laughs> All right, let's see the seeds on that one before you open it. Hold your hand oh, against it, yeah. It's better that way. Those are tiny too. She whiz. You still got light enough for this? Oh yeah, there's still enough light. We're running low. It's getting there. But we're gonna make it. Remember, we planted in the dark that one time, remember? <laughs> we had headlight we had headlamps on and we were planting in the dark. Wouldn't be the first time. I'll have to um tomorrow I can uh break open the jumbo peanuts and have and get them ready to plant tomorrow. Right. Mm. I'm excited. I know. Yeah, the I could tell on the uh, thing it's going fuzzy. So what's this one? Sage. Sage. You love sage, don't yes, you? There's another small. Yeah, they're pretty small. <laughs> Most herb seeds are small. Yeah. It just always kind of surprises me because I'm thinking, you know, that's uh, such a plant with so much flavor. You know, and then when you pull out the seed, it's like, it grew out of this. <laughs> so let's see the seeds. They're a little bigger than the other ones. Oh yeah, just a little bit. Here, let me take the thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run out of camera light here soon. Boy, we did this just in time. Well, it's official. We are now planting for 2021. That's it, and as you guys can tell, we are out of daylight. So we're gonna close it. And uh, anything else you wanna add, honey? Just get out there and grow something for your family. <laughs>